After you have created the geometry for your model, the next step in our workflow, again, this is the same no matter what we are modeling, would be to specify your material properties. Please note that in Comsol Multiphysics 5.0, there is a separate tab for materials. Through the Add Material button, you can see that the Comsol Multiphysics Material Browser has several built-in materials that are available to be used. And the addition of the Material Library, an add-on product, augments this Material Browser with over 2,500 materials with up to 24 key properties each. So we have a lot of information at our disposal. In our example of this thermal actuator, the actuator is made of polysilicon. So we would go under MEMS, then under semiconductors, and add polysilicon to our model. Once the material has been added, you can see that it is automatically applied to all domains. In the material settings window, you'll notice the material content section, which contains a table listing the properties and their respective values for the material we selected. You'll notice here that there is a stop message for the electrical conductivity, and this is because Comsol Multiphysics recognizes and knows this is a property and value needed to compute the physics in our model. The green check marks for the other properties indicate that Comsol Multiphysics knows and has these properties and their respective values. I could enter a constant value here for the electrical conductivity, but then this would assume that the material property is constant. And this would mean that the physics in our model would be coupled one way only. So the current would flow through the actuator, heat up the material, but the current itself would not be affected by the temperature rise. And we don't want that. We want to implement a temperature dependent electrical conductivity. I could do that right now by entering an expression in the value field for electrical conductivity. However, for this demo, I'm going to apply the variable dependency later on. So we won't worry about that for now. We will fix that when we configure the physics in the electric currents interface. You'll notice above the material content section is the material property section. So you're not just limited to the properties and values available to us through the Comsol Multiphysics Material Browser or Library. We can always augment the material by adding additional properties our analysis requires. You would just go under the respective section, select the property, and then click the plus sign button to add it. Going a step further, you can always even create your own completely custom material through the new material function.